Welcome to AW Services. Today's hints and tips videos, electronics based and also radio based. If you're like me and you enjoy scanning the airwaves for military, airband, civil airband radio, PMR walkie talkies, then you may be familiar with the Uniden. The Uniden UBC 125XLT is a brilliant analog scanner that uses a BNC connector. So for most aerials that you can buy, they've all got a factory fitted BNC connector on them. These connectors are very standardised in the way that they connect to your equipment, but the way that they are installed can differ somewhat. You can buy some very complex crimping tools, some uh, wire sheathing stripping tools, and if you've done these for years, you'll know what kind of measurements you need to trim the inner conductors to be able to crimp the pin on, to then use the braided outer coaxial to then create the ground side of it. But these BNC connectors are a quick and easy version. They're quicker or they're brilliant if you're out and about and you haven't got the crimping tools with you. The only thing that you require to fit these really is a small flathead screwdriver. So a decent set of um, or affordable set of precision screwdrivers, some wire cutters, some wire strippers and a Stanley knife. But these I prefer because I can just quickly throw those onto a piece of RG58 coax and I can make all of my own aerials. But with these... If you're familiar with standard television aerial plugs, we're not talking F plugs that you find on satellite and sky. These are very, so this is very similar now to a standardized TV aerial. So you've got the inner conductor, the inner pin, and then you've got the outer ground braid that then crimps into a compression joint fitting. And then the inner conductor the camera focus slides straight down the center bore and then comes out is your conductor pin but these all you need like i said a precision screwdriver to cut them and trim them correctly to make sure you've not got any of the coaxial braid shorting between the inner tip and then you just screw them together like you would do with a tv aerial plug but they're very affordable I've got these for about 89 pence each and they're just screwed together. You twist the collar and that compresses the outer sheathing. But what the trick I like to use is when I assemble these, because like the RG58 braid isn't particularly very thick. And if it's thin like it is, where the actual silver, like the claw, which creates the compression on that when you screw it down it's not enough so what i like to do is with a very hot soldering iron very quickly cut off a small length of about half an inch i don't do centimeters so about half an inch of desoldering braid which is copper braid tin that with a piece of solder and once you've got your braid from your outer conductor of the coax neatly rolled and folded around the actual black sheathing I then tap the soldering iron onto that braid and then with the solder on it I then wrap a very small portion of this around the outer braid and if the camera will focus you can see that I've actually built up that area inside to give this compression fitting more purchase and to tighten down and create a firmer connection i also then like for like abrasion resistance and wear and tear once i've reassembled the plug i can then put a bit of heat shrink on there gently with a heat gun heat it up and then i can actually create a strain relief on the top of that plug because these plugs here inherently like all bnc connectors they don't offer a lot of strain relief on the tops. So what I'll do now, I'll pause the camera and I'll just assemble the plug and show you exactly what I mean. Okay, I'm back. So I've reassembled the plug. I used some very fine or some very precision ended long nose pliers. 
I then hold the inner body of the BNC connector and then with my hand I tighten down the top collar to give the compression which holds it all together as you would do with a television coax aerial. I then added a piece of uh, 2 to 1 ratio heat shrink. I'm not using self adhesive lined heat shrink because I want to get back into this connector if I want to reuse it and also it's very stiff and not as pliable it's like two to one heat shrink so i've added some heat shrink on there and now that's given me in my opinion a factory finish i'll just boost the exposure so you can see it a bit more but if you wanted to start making your own aerials and selling them on ebay or through amateur radio scanner groups then just that little one piece of heat shrink will make your hobbyist do-it-yourself consumer wiring project look more like a professional finish and then when that's on top of your scanner i'll just see if i can do this it's always difficult with one hand because i'm i do things on the fly and i don't think about using a tripod so now that's on my scanner i now have some strain relief on the top of the plug that stops it all pulling out and it looks quite neat but if you have any questions on this video or you found it helpful, please subscribe to AW Services and help the growth of the channel. If you have any questions about scanners or other types of connectors, feel free to leave a comment below. Hit the bell icon so you get a notification as and when I post a new video. Like and share with your friends. But thank you very much for watching. Another hints and tips from AW Services.